Good evening and welcome to Castle Fun Center here in a very cold Chester, New York. It is currently 11 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 12 degrees Celsius, and for some reason I'm just in a t-shirt. Um, this huge property with outdoor go-karting and um, giant zip lines and all kinds of stuff, as well as indoor, we've just finished installing an inflatable park, so let's go check that out. It's too cold to stand outside, so as we walk, uh, as we walk in, this multi-tiered uh, family entertainment center has all kinds of activities from, um, they have a rock wall, they have a full arcade downstairs, um, they have a full soft play, which you can't really see because the lights are off at the moment. This is at the very end of the day. Um, something unique that I haven't seen at any other FEC or park that we've done anywhere in the world is they have a full, fully stocked pub and axe throwing, uh, which we might be able to check later on. It's, it's, it's dark back there. But that's not why you're tuning in. You're tuning in to see this. This is 9,200 square feet of inflatable park fun. Uh, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different attractions here in 9,200 square feet. Um, this used to be a roller rink and they're doing a lot of improvements and upgrades and changing their, um, changing their business model really and trying to appeal to a broader audience. So without further ado, let's go check it out. As you've seen with previous videos that we've done, straight in, it's become a staple of the park, which is the giant uh, birthday throne. You could get up to 10 um, small toddlers on there, but it's a great fo photo opportunity. Um, the branding's there, your Instagram posts, your Facebook lives, things like that. As we walk through, we'll start with the right-hand side of the park first. Again, another little bit of branding, selfie wall with the branding this is the castle um, the castle fun center um, you may notice all over the park we have there is uv webbing um, there's a lot of lights hopefully towards the end of the video we're going to turn off the lights and and see how well uh, facebook can do that we're not not too sure um, it's almost a necessity these days we uh, in an inflatable park meltdown eight players um, the sealed air um, the sealed air boom arms, God, it's been a long day already. Um, front and center, great visibility for the guests outside and parents to watch. Um, as we take a stroll over here, there's a huge double lane slide, um, but just in front of that, and I really wish I could show it to you complete, but this is a giant ball pool with a rocker in the middle. Uh, due to COVID at the moment, we, uh, we haven't installed the balls. They're, they're holding on to them for now, but hope to get some great pictures and video from the guys here. This will be full of balls and a good place for, for the kids to play. Um, and that's the kind of the centerpiece around an obstacle course that wraps its way around. Two slides, a bunch of obstacles in the back, and then you exit here into these Biff Bash. Due to, uh, due to the ceiling heights that we've got here, everything's had to be brought down a little bit. So for those that pay attention to some of our videos and pictures, this is actually the smaller version of the battle zone. So this is usually um, another four feet higher. So we've condensed everything down, made it a little bit smaller, um, but I still don't think it loses its, its impact as a, as a really great game. Two players battle it with the sealed air sealed air sticks so there's no chance they're light so little kids can pick these up or mum and dad can go and have their arguments in uh, in the fun park as we move on wrecking ball four players we've got these giant um, inflatable podiums so enough to carry adults or all the small kids and then a sealed air ball and we can see who can knock one another off the pedestals. And then right behind us, didn't quite have space for four, but we've got the triple baller, the big balls. Players will climb up, they'll run across and see if they can get 
it is a lot harder as uh, as the ownership here found out while we were doing training and testing it is a lot it's a lot of fun and it's nearly been in every single park that we've done um, either or we have a small um, small moon bounce area here this is the area that does give that extra bit of bounce um, nice big open area attached to the toddler zone so um, the little kids that are in there they can still interact with their brothers and sisters and still feel like they're part of the whole park yet protected from running into bigger kids um, in there and last but certainly not least is uh, the famous ninja wall the inflatable warped wall three different height walls you run up there and then there's the the exit slide here um, let's take a walk over here I'm gonna see if we can get the lights changed and the UV on um, just bear with me one second gonna get that changed So we can already see disco ball coming alive. There we go. Don't know how well this is being picked up, um, but this is, we've just finished installation. So the guys here haven't um, adjusted the lights. So they're gonna move and add some more black lights and get the, uh, the glow elements a bit more reflective, I think. Over here by the obstacle course, it really seems to to light up. This is, tell you what, that looks phenomenal. <laughs> That's the first time we've seen that. So, um, really shows that with lighting and glow nights for your inflatable park, what you can do. Um, and probably after finishing this live, gonna have to do some more video just to capture this because, yeah, who just thought that a standard mirror ball? Um, like in Gary, if you turn around now, the uh, the glow is just absolutely popping in these areas, showing how it, it really should look. So with the glow and the lighting and in previous installations that we've just done uh, with SkyZone, with LEDs added into the park, you can really make this an interactive like wonderland like this. This, for me, looks phenomenal. I'm super, super happy with it. Funny story about these guys. This deal was concluded in uh, November 2019, and they were, uh, they were due to install in 2020 before the pandemic hit, and we've been waiting two years. So it's been a long time coming. So this is a bit of a time capsule. This has been ready and delivered two years ago, and we finally found time to get on site get the job done and I think the result is a fantastic fantastic looking park um, can you see me okay yeah um, as always if you want to learn more about inflatable parks um, and you'll or you just like these videos these are both on Facebook and our YouTube channel um, visit youtube.com forward slash galaxy multi rides or the, the website galaxy multi rides.com where super busy at the moment but we're always looking for new projects and parks so if you're thinking about it or even if it's just a grain of an idea feel free to reach out my name's mike you can speak to anybody in the team um, and we'll see how we can get you going with your inflatable park um, we've got some more coming up so there's going to be a few more lives in the next uh, few coming weeks but until then um, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon